Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another live in the UU tier. This is the second time I'm recording this video. I had this completely done for today and turns out that it picked up on my webcam mic instead of the mic that's on my head right now. So I'm going to be re-recording. The audio was complete garbage. Uh, so I'm going to be re restarting here. Right here we have a team given to us by our good friend Dom, Dom's Game Room. His link will be in the description. Definitely check him out. He has great content on his channel. He's a great guy. And uh, he passes this team. It's a really cool team. Uh, I called it Dom's Triple Knockoff Special. Because if you come over here, you guys will see that uh, Shuckle has knockoff, so does Crocodile, and so does Mammoth Swine. So there's three Pokemon with knockoff. Uh, the last live that I recorded went really, really well. Um, Choice Specs Gardevoir put in a lot of work uh, being able to just Moonblast everything. This, uh, this Moonblast two hit KOs Cresselia, which is insane. Um, that's, <laughs> that's a Cresselia. Uh, unless it's specially defensive, then it doesn't, but it, if it's physically defensive, it does 60% min. Uh, so that's that's pretty crazy. Uh, nice little expert belted Tornadus here. Nice coverage, Grass Knot for Swamp Bird, Heat Wave for Fortress, Sludge Wave for, let's say, Sylveon, things like that. Uh, we got a uh, Substitute Mammoth Swine over here with Leftovers. Rapid Spin Skull, Dark Pulse, this was initially Ice Beam. Dom will notice that this has changed. Uh, because Salamence is no longer in the tier because of the suspect test, I decided to change this for Dark Pulse so we can at least hit the ghosts that want to stop us from spinning. Because uh, getting rid of hazards is actually pretty crucial with this team. And then there's a Choice Banded Crocodile, all to take advantage of Shuckle's Sticky Webs right here. Nice little Toxic, Stealth Rock, and Knock Off. So let's just uh, jump right into it. It's, it's pretty late at this point. Um, I procrastinated a little. Wish I hadn't. I would have noticed that the video was messed up, so... Uh, it's kind of my own fault, but um, let's try to get through this. So, we have Tornadus, 100%, my best lead. Uh, covers the Conkelder, the Swampert, the uh, the Reuniclus pretty well. Uh, I can Heat Wave the Bronzong, so it's my overall best lead. My opponent chooses to lead with Tentacruel, which is pretty good for him. I'm just going to Hurricane this thing. I don't care if it's specially defensive, uh, I'm just going to try to get off as much damage as possible. We're going to start the timer right here. We're actually going to miss uh, as he gets off a Toxic Spike, not a big deal. Uh, we will just Hurricane again, nothing wants to come in on this on his entire team. Uh, Bronzong actually does come in, takes the Hurricane relatively well, doesn't get the confusion. We are just going to Heat Wave this thing, I assume it is Levitate. Uh, it makes sense with his team, so this is going to do 51%. Opponent's going to go for Stealth Rocks. I can spin all of this away later. Uh, predicting him to want to switch, potentially. I'm just going to go for Heat Wave again. Doesn't matter. He could be playing off the miss and uh, wanting to go for a Gyro Ball, but he makes a smart play and switches back out into Tentacruel. And I'm just going to Hurricane this thing again. We do not miss this time. Get off 46%, which is very nice. Scald is going to crit us, so the luck is not in our favor right now with this game. Uh, I'm just going to Hurricane again. Should get off as much damage as I can on this Tentacruel. We're actually going to confuse him, and he's going to get fully confused, so that's good uh, for us. I'm going to Heat Wave right now. Get off a Heat Wave on whatever wants to uh, to potentially switch into a Hurricane. And I do want to potentially keep this for maybe the Conkeldur later, so I might just switch out. If he brings out a Swamper, that would be best case scenario because we get to knock that thing out. He actually chooses to bring in Bronzong, so I will just... I'm actually going to switch into Blastoise, making him to want to switch... Um, potentially. Yep, there we go. Conkelder does come in. And I'm just going to go for the rapid spin right here. We should be faster. Uh, we are always faster, actually, unless he's scarfed. And uh, I can throw off a rapid spin, get rid of these hazards, alleviate the pressure for the rest of the team, which is really nice. And uh, there we go. So those are gone. Opponent chooses to go for a Thunder Punch. That is not going to knock us out. The following Mock Punch will, however. Although, I do have a Guard of War. Do I want to keep this is the question. Not really. I can just Scald right here, and I'll go into Gardevoir now, and uh, nothing wants to take two Moonblasts on this entire team. Not Reuniclus, not Bronzong of the health that it's at. Yeah, this is 2-hit KO'd. Um, yep, goodbye. And uh, the last one, the 26, this might actually be a roll. I don't think it is, but uh, yeah, there we go. So that's gone. And um, Swampert is the biggest threat to the Gardevoir right now. I uh, will have to switch out on that thing. Luckily, the rest of my team is all healthy except for Tornadus, so that's pretty good. We got rid of the Bronzong, so uh, Reuniclus actually decides to come in. I'm just going to Moonblast. I really don't mind uh, if he tries to set up a Calm Mind. Yeah, he's too hit KO'd, so that doesn't matter. Goodbye. 
Get a crit there, didn't matter at all, of course. Uh, 70 would have gone down to about 45, so we were definitely two hit KOing no matter what. Swampert does come out here. Biggest threat to me. I'm just gonna go into Shuckle right here, predicting probably an Earthquake. This is definitely his Mega as well. And uh, he does just go for the Rain Dance, actually, so that's interesting. I'm gonna go for the Toxic right here. Opponent goes for Waterfall, fails to knock us out. Does not get the flinch, luckily, so we are putting this thing on a timer. Which is very nice. Um, I'm wondering if I should switch right here. No, Sticky Webs is probably just the best play. Uh, we have a Custap Berry, so we are gonna slow down the the Kiram when it comes in, so that's nice. He's only got three turns of rain left. I'm gonna go into Mamoswine, I believe, is my best play. And I'm just going to Ice Shard this thing, get off a little more damage on it. Um, that's gonna Oko us with a crit, very nice. Uh, and now we can go into Tornadus, sack it off to whatever he wants to go for. I'm just going to Hurricane, actually, because it hits everything else that may want to switch in. And uh, then we can just go into Gardevoir and fire off Moonblast in the wind, so uh, that should be good. I'm gonna go into that, and uh, Gardevoir is gonna put in more work now, uh, just as it did in the previous live that I recorded. As you guys can probably tell, I'm really not amused by the fact that, um, that uh, I lost my recording. Uh, Gardevoir picking up yet another kill, and the match is forfeited. There we go, so we pick up a first win. I'm really surprised I'm still, I got a game that quickly, and this one as well, uh, that was super fast. Uh, I am on my main account. I started the last live uh, off of my main account. This guy has almost an identical team to us, <laughs> which is really funny. The first four Pokemon that I saw were all the same, and then he has two uh, two different Pokemon right there. Um, Gardevoir doesn't put in as much work just because of the Blade. If I can catch it with a Shadow Ball, though, that's amazing. Um, probably just going to lead with... Hmm. Uh, let's see... Blastoise. Blastoise is my best lead. <laughs> he thinks the same thing, predicting Shuckle. So I am just going to Dark Pulse this thing. No reason not to. Uh, it does the most damage out of anything I can hit him with. Uh, also covers the switch into the Blade if he's predicting Aura Sphere. Uh, Crocodile doesn't really want to come in on me anyway, and uh, I can hit anything pretty much hard, so this is pretty good. Uh, we, do we have any speed investment? I think we have a little bit. Let me actually check that. Blastoise. Yeah, he has 80 speed on this thing. That's actually pretty good. Nice. Alright, so we're going to hit up uh, the Sylveon right there. Dark Pulse isn't going to do much. He's probably Specs. Uh, I'm not going to play around with this, though. I'm just going to fire off the Scald. He goes for a Calm Mind. Okay. And he's faster than us. So he has a lot of speed investment. I'm just going to Scald again. I really don't care. Uh, if that Scald is doing 27%, his Hyper Voice is going to do a lot to us. Uh, but if we get a burn right here, which we do not, uh, it's fine though because... Is his entire team grounded? No. No, no, no. It's close though. It's very close to all being grounded. It's fine we lose our Blastoise right there. I can just go into Mamoswine here. And nothing wants to come in on an Earthquake. So, just going to throw that off. That's going to be the end of Sylveon right there. And nothing still wants to come in on me. So, this is a pretty safe... Um, well, except for this thing. It's a pretty safe scenario regardless. Uh, I'm just going to go into Tornadus. I can take the Scald the best and I do not want Gardevoir weakened. Um, actually I might have uh, had a better time going into Gardevoir. He actually chooses to go for Aura Sphere so that's really good. As we, now we, what we can do is we can Grass Knot this thing and uh, send it into the next dimension. That did a lot. Uh, he's got the Ice Beam on his. Now do I want to just go for the knockoff? and potentially sweep up with that. I don't think I can though, that's the problem, because he's got his own crook. So... I think I still have to go Crocodile, but I'm not going to be sweeping with this. I'm just going to go for the knockoff. Uh, his Crocodile is probably Intimidate as well, so... We, uh, hopefully it goes directly into Tornadus. That would be amazing for us. Just get rid of it, and then Earthquake sweep him. Would be the best case scenario. Uh, he's just gonna stay in, he's gonna take the knockoff, that would have knocked him out, that's Choice Banded. Uh, regardless of the crit, we're getting a lot of crits actually back and forth between us and our opponents. I uh, choose to go into his Crocodile, which is probably just gonna go for a superpower. I'm gonna switch into Gardevoir here, on the superpower. There we go. And it's uh, definitely Banded, because it wouldn't have done that much. I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball here, predicting the blade to come out. Actually, he chooses to go into Shuckle, so that's a good play. Uh, preventing me from being able to um, completely annihilate his only check to Moonblast. So that's really good on his part. Uh, I'm just going to go into Crook. I don't mind whatever he wants to go for, that's fine. 
And I think I just go for knockoff again, honestly. Just do as much damage to this as I can. Get rid of the Custab Berry. He goes for the Sticky Webs. That's fine. I'm just going to throw off another knockoff. Uh, he's probably exactly the same set as I am. Really curious, uh, because this is a, a very similar team. I don't know if Dom got this from somewhere or if he got the idea from somewhere. I'm just going to go for another knockoff right here. Uh, should my opponent choose to bring in the Crocodile after? His own Crocodile, of course. Um, he actually chooses to go into this. Does this knock me out with a uh, with a Grass Knot? Tornadus. Tornadus. Um, special Attacker. Grass Knot to Crook. Crook Choice Band. You don't take me out, right? Mmm, you got a chance to. It's 37% chance. I'm willing to take those odds. He actually misses a hurricane. That's huge. Uh, gonna get off a knockoff right there. And I think he's pretty much forced to go into Crocodile now. Yeah, he can't go into the blade. So that's gonna be the uh, the game right there. We are gonna be able to pick that one up. Uh, nice 4-0, oh, we'll call it, or 3-0. Uh, and we're gonna get one more. We are only at 11 minutes, which is really cool. Because I can keep this one really short. It's a really awesome team. Uh, thanks again to Dom uh, for passing it to me. It works pretty well. Again, uh, check him out in the uh, in the description down below, guys. His link is there. And uh, again, he's just a great guy, great friend. Um, really glad to uh, to have met him through the NBA. I had actually already known of his existence before. He's um, he was always on Miguel's streams, Mega Mogwai, when I was really into uh, Miguel's Pokemon streams. And um, yeah, and I always saw him there. He was always making little donations here and there. Uh, he's very uh, very active on the stream. So. Uh, my opponent has a very threatening team. Entei, Sylveon, and Nidoking all do a lot of work to this team. So, gotta watch out with that. Also, I can't just freely throw off Scalds, which is really annoying because of the Cradilly. I'm tempted to just lead with Mamoswine. It has the best matchup against the majority of his team. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. As he chooses to lead with Gyarados, so not a great situation. Um, what's the best switch for me? I think just Tornadus. Tornadus is fine, yeah. Uh, if he goes for Waterfall, he goes for Waterfall. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, he's going to go for D-Dance. He should not be able to... Well, this is a Gyarados we're talking about. He probably can knock me out, but I'm just going to go for the Hurricane. Uh, Waterfall actually fails to knock me out, and we missed the Hurricane, of course. That's uh, that's awesome. That's that's how the game works. So, um, what do I do here? I think I have to go into Shuckle and just uh, poison this thing. Is my best play. He's probably just going to Waterfall. As long as he doesn't get a flinch and we land the Toxic, we should be good to go. I will also be able to get up rocks, which is really nice because of the cuss that berry. We should be able to live this, no problem. I mean, Shuckle's HP is pretty much garbage, but its defense is really, really high. So I should be able to take this um, and knock me into cuss that range no matter what because of Gluttony. He's actually going to Dragon Dance again, which is interesting. Um, he has the Lumberry, so I have to go for another Toxic. Waterfall fails to knock us out, and we miss the Toxic. Okay, so that's going to be the end of that game, guys. I'm out of there. And we'll uh, grab another one right away, since we're only at 13 minutes. Uh, I'm not playing around with missing a Hurricane and then missing a Toxic. That's annoying as hell. So, um, we'll just get another one. A little less haxy game, hopefully, for the last one. Keep it at four battles. Maybe uh, go three and one. Uh, I don't want to give Gardevoir another thumbnail, man. <laughs> Shuckle had the thumbnail eventually. I even downloaded the images and everything. It was ready to go, and uh, found out that my my recording was completely messed up. So, all right. Um, against this team, Gardevoir does very well. What else does well? Tornadus. Uh, well, no, not really. He has a Gudra and a Sylveon. Yeah, I'm just gonna lead Shuckle. It's fine. Uh, he leads Blastoise. I'm going to just Toxic right here. Uh, he's going to go for Scald. He's going to knock us down to 55. Uh, we do get the Gluttony right here. And uh, I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks. Uh, Gluttony, Custab Berry. He's going to knock us out with the Scald right there. I am just going to go into Torn and fire off a huge Grass Knot. If he wants to spin, he's dead. So that's fine chooses to go for the rapid spin he dies to poison on this turn so we get rid of the blast toys in exchange for shuckle not too bad um needle queen does choose to come out interesting uh, i think i'm just gonna go for the hurricane honestly and we miss again awesome gotta love that move uh ice beam is gonna take us out there and he does have a decent switch into psy shock he doesn't have a decent switch into 
Mammoth Swine, though. What I'm going to do is sub on this Nido Queen. I expect him to switch out into the Cresselia, and I want to be able to... Uh, okay, well, I guess not. Uh, he goes for Stealth Rocks. We are faster. I'm going to throw out an Earthquake right here, knock out the Nido Queen, and now nothing really wants to come in on Mammoth Swine. It's very difficult for even Crawdons, or uh, Cresselia takes a knockoff, but... Um, I'm going to Earthquake here once again. Uh, if he specs, he hits us through the sub, but he's not able to knock us out, and he's not specs. Hyper Voice hits through sub regardless, but I'm just going to EQ here. Uh, brings in the Cresselia, that's fine. I can just knock this thing off, get rid of its item. Uh, Mammoth Swine's a threat behind a sub, man. Uh, it really is. And uh, we're able to get rid of its leftovers right there. He's just going to Psy Shock, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go into Crocodile here, actually. Trap the Cresselia. Uh, as he goes for another Psy Shock, very nice, and we will go for the Pursuit, and do 27%, which is not much at all. He goes for the Ice Beam, gets a crit. Uh, no freeze, though, that's uh, surprising, seeing as I've been lucked every single turn. Um, wait a minute, Gardevoir just wins, right? Yeah, I think Gardevoir just wins. I might just want to go Blastoise first, though, just get off a Dark Pulse. Uh, this thing should outspeed me, though, so I don't want to play around with that. I'd rather bring in Gardevoir right now. And just go for the Moonblast, knock out whatever. He doesn't know if we're Scarfed or uh, Specs or whatever. So, uh, he's going to bring in his Sylveon. We are going to be able to knock this thing out with a Moonblast. Goodbye. And now I guess he would go Gudra. Yep. And uh, fire off maybe a Sludge Wave? Let's find out. Let's see. Uh, it goes for the Sludge Bomb. Yep, we resist that. He does not get the Poison. And we are able to Earthquake. Uh, the Crawdon does not want to come in on the Earthquake. And now with the weakened Gudra, as long as, uh, actually even if he's um, uh, Choice Banded and he's able to knock us out with the, uh, with the Aqua Jet for whatever reason, uh, we still win this game because Blastoise comes in an Aura Sphere, so it's going to be a very, very short live. We were able to get four games in under 20 minutes, so uh, just going to Moonblast right here. The Aqua Jet is going to do a lot. He's Life Orb, not Bandit, so we are able to live and knock out the Crawdont with Gardevoir. I'm not giving you the thumbnail, okay? You've had too many already. So that's going to be it, guys. If you enjoyed uh, this live, uh, despite me and my bad mood, uh, please leave a like down below. Definitely go check out Dom again, guys. His link is in the description. Uh, I really want you guys to go check out his content. He's, he's an awesome guy. And uh, subscribe to me if you haven't already. If you're, uh, if you're coming to the, uh, to the end of this video, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the live. Hit me up on Twitter, on Facebook. Both are in the description, as well as, uh, as the link that I mentioned before. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.